everybody for tuning in. Thank you so much for watching the previous videos that I've done. This is the African Film Review Show. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment as well. Now today I'm going to be talking about a film which is probably one of my favorite films ever made. Ever made. Now it's one of the few films uh, that I will talk about on this series that is made by a non-African. But it seems to have a very African point of view in terms of the making it, at least in the history part. Um, it's a film called Kimada, or Burn. It was made in 19, well, it was released in 1969, and it actually stars uh, uh, Marlon Brando, who we all know from The Godfather. Now, this is a film which, it's my favorite film simply, it's one of my favorite films simply because it depicts what the transition was like as the so-called colonies and the Africans that lived in the colonies transitioned from uh, being enslaved to being effectively leaders of revolutions. It's a fictitious island which is called Quemada, uh, Spanish or Portuguese speaking, I'm not really sure. The film is actually in English but uh, is depicted by Portuguese um, actors as well as Marlon Brando. In fact, the lead actor, Evaristo Marquez, uh, who was a Brazilian actor, prominent Brazilian actor at the time. Marlon Brando is a kind of agent provocateur. So he's basically one of these guys who's sent by the British government to uh, this island to kind of instigate an issue between the sugar owners, the, far, the, uh, this, the enslavers and the enslaved, to kind of instigate the enslavers to find a leader in the enslavers that will lead an uprising and eventually lead the country into uh, out of colonialism or out of, in fact, um, enslavement. Marlon Brando's character, he basically helps them to get, get to the point where they are completely free, but then he leaves them destabilized. Now, when I say destabilized, the people who actually fought the war, the leader of this uprising, this black man who was formerly enslaved, has to eventually give up power and control to the lighter skinned or even white people of the island who are also fighting to get out of the so-called enslavement, where really for them it was more colonialism. These are the descendants of the Spanish uh, conquistadores and all the people who eventually came and settled the place and enslaved people. And obviously they mixed with different people and they became what they call half breeds or, or mixed race people. And these are the people that are now ruling. Now this is true of many places. This happened in Jamaica. We saw this in, in many islands uh, like Trinidad and Tobago. We saw this in all different parts of, of South America. Uh, this is something which was very common. The people who ended up fighting, the Maroons, as you would call them, the people that fought to rid themselves of colonial rule and also of uh, enslavement, those people very oftentimes did not lead the countries with the exception of Haiti. But even in Haiti, we saw a very interesting problem when Jean-Jacques Dessalines and uh, Toussaint Louverture were in the reverse order, actually. When they eventually took over, they wrote their own constitution. And as time went by, you slowly started seeing the lighter skinned people come into rule Haiti. We see this also in Dominican Republic and so on. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Kimada, uh, or at least the, the island is called Kimada, uh, is ruled for a period by um, the lighter skinned people. Gentlemen, I would like to present General Jose Dolores. Mr. Prado. Augusto Anguiloro. Fernando Cabrera. Uh, allow me to present General Dolores, Mr. Teddy Santos. He director of the rebellion here in the capital. It was he who killed the governor. And he's now the president of the new provisional government, whose first act it was to abolish slavery. General, you have our admiration. Your help has been invaluable. Thank you. In the name of the provisional government, I invite you to discuss with us the proposals for a constitution.
gentlemen. Shall we? See, that was the chair of the governor. May God bless you, Jose Dolores. Thank you. Senores, you wanted to talk with me? Here I am. This film, I think, highlights everything that happened in the West, what they call the West Indies, which is really not a, a real statement. It's more to say, let's just say the Caribbean islands. This happened there, and this is something which was very prominent in um, even different parts of Africa, where people who had fought to get rid of these uh, leaders were eventually destabilized and a puppet was put in control. Uh, And let me talk a little bit about the film director. The film director is a man called Gilo Pontecavo. He's an Italian man, uh, born in, I think, 1919. He is also the filmmaker who was behind the film Battle of Algiers. Gilo Pontecavo made a handful of films. Uh, he made uh, a handful of feature films. He made three, I think, in his career. And in fact, between Battle of Algiers and Kimada, it was probably like a, a period of like 10 years or something between them. Um, and needless to say, when you make these type of films, you're not exactly going to be, people are not going to throw money at you. And um, a film like Kimada as well is the kind of film which, uh, you know, it can be banned and things like that. So there's a lot of uh, issues, there are a lot of issues that you can encounter as a filmmaker making these type of consciously uh, mindful films, but also depicting history accurately. Kimada means burnt. In fact, the Portuguese had to burn the island to put down the resistance of the Indians when they took it. And since the natives were all killed, they brought in slaves from Africa to work the cane fields. Like all the films that I've been showing you so far, it is still free on YouTube. It is free on YouTube, so watch it while you can. I think there's one in Portuguese subtitles and there's one in English subtitles. Uh, but I think it's actually dubbed in English, excuse me. So that's that. Thank you very much for tuning in. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, please like, please share, please comment, please subscribe, more importantly. I appreciate every single one of you uh, uh, for the, the feedback that I've received. I appreciate it very much, and I hope that you will tune in for the next one that I do. Dalo. Adios, Inglés. I'm sorry.